to English Christian Church Cross Street, where we're connecting kids with Christ. <laughs> together working hand in hand it's easy if we all carry the load look at all we can do to build a better world when you can trust in me and i can trust in you so put your hands together together we can do anything anything we all yeah. one voice one heart one love Whoa. city all together now we make a better story when we help each other out with peace and understanding you'll never walk alone when you can trust in me and i can trust in you the time is here the time is now to take a stand and make it count so put your hands together Like, maybe the lead singer of a rock band? Hello, Cleveland! Woo! Or maybe you fancy yourself the lead guitarist. Can you picture it? A huge crowd of people watching you, cheering for you, chanting, Hey, Lee! Hey, Lee! Hey, Lee! Or, you know, whatever your name is. That, that would be amazing! But, you know what? Most bands don't start off on top like that. Most bands start off in some small 
where they practice playing music and they show lots of cooperation. Cooperation is working together to do more than you can do alone. Every member of a band plays an important part. Take one instrument away and it just won't sound the same, but you wanna know who I think deserves a little more credit in a rock band? The drummer! Think about it. Hey, Warren. The drummer supports the whole band. Without a drummer, who would keep the beat? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Warren. But with a good drummer, <laughs> The, the, the band stays in rhythm. Drummers may not be the most famous, but they get to decide how fast or how slow the songs are. Plus, a drummer can make every joke just a little bit funnier. The drummer works together with the band to help support the singer. This gives a, a new meaning to the word. Band-aid. <laughs> you get it. In today's story, we'll learn about a great battle fought by the Israelites. A battle that took all kinds of cooperation. They really had to <laughs> band together. <laughs> get it. I'll see you in a few. <laughs> Thank you, Oklahoma City! Yeah! Woo! The Bible. It's 66 books of history stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Exodus, chapter 17, verses 8 through 13. God had freed the Israelites from slavery in Egypt and led them into the desert. But with no home of their own, the Israelites were still wide open to enemy attack as they traveled. One evening, as Moses walked through the camp, his assistant Joshua raced up. Amalekites! Where? How many? Just a few men right now. They attacked at the rear, where many of the women and children are. But we beat them back. Uh, they'll come in full force tomorrow. Moses turned to survey the land around them in the last rays of the setting sun. The whole valley of Rephidim spread out before them. Nearby, a high hill provided a lookout for the whole countryside. We have no army. We'll have to fight. You choose our best men and get ready for battle in the morning. Will you come with us? No. Moses pointed at the hilltop. I'll climb up there and hold up the walking stick that God gave me. Both men looked at a sturdy staff in Moses' hand. It was no ordinary stick. Moses had lifted the staff when God had parted the water of the Red Sea so the Israelites could escape. Yes, sir. I'll call the men. In the great chill before dawn, Joshua and his group of inexperienced fighters prepared for battle against the Amalekites. I, I've never held a sword. God has saved us many times. He can do it again. As the ragtag army gathered at one end of the valley, Moses climbed the hill with his brother Aaron and his friend Hur. So, Moses, uh, what's the plan? Yeah, those Amalekites got some mean fighters. We'll call on God. As the three men crested the hill, they turned to look back. The rising sun flooded the valley. They could see Joshua and the Israelites just below. At the far end of the valley, a vast swarm of Amalekites rushed forward. Oh more Amalekites than bees in a hive. Within minutes, the two groups clashed. It was clear from the very beginning that the Amalekites had the upper hand. They'll wipe us out in no time. Wait. At the very crest of the hill, Moses grabbed his staff and raised both hands high in the air. Our God is stronger than any enemy. In a short time, the tide seemed to turn. Well, what do you know? Joshua's pushing them back. The Israelites steadily beat back the Amalekite army. But as the sun rose and the heat increased, Moses' arms grew tired. Little by little, his arms sank down. Uh-oh. The Amalekites have busted through our line right there. We were doing so well. God, help us. With an effort, Moses lifted his hands high again. Joshua had formed a strong band of fighters, and once again, the Israelites surged forward. Moses lowered his arms to stretch. 
Ah, my back! Well, what just happened? Joshua had them. Moses stepped forward to see, raising his hands high again. Aaron turned to stare at his brother. It's your hands! When your hands are raised up toward God, we're winning! Yeah, and when you drop them, those fool Amalekites start to win! Yes, but I can't do this all day. Moses' arms began to shake. Hold it one more minute. I got a rock-solid plan. Aaron? Together, Aaron and her rolled a huge stone to the place where Moses stood. Now, you set yourself right down, Mo. Carefully, Moses lowered himself onto the rock, fighting to keep his hands high in the air. My arms! We got it, brother! Aaron and her each stood on one side of Moses and held up a hand. Whew! For the rest of the day, Aaron and her stood right beside Moses, keeping his hands steady. By sunset, Joshua and the Israelites completely defeated the Amalekites. <laughs> Look at him run! The Amalekites had been defeated by God's power, but it was only by working together with his friends that Moses had been able to keep his hands lifted high all day. The battle against the Amalekites took loads of cooperation. Aaron and Hur worked together to help Moses. The three of them worked together to help Joshua and the Israelites. And God worked with all of them to do something miraculous. What's cool is that none of those people did what they did to make themselves famous. They were each trying to help someone else succeed. That's something you can do too. You can work together, not because it makes you look good, but because it helps someone else. After all, life isn't always all about you. You could work with a friend on their homework, even when it's not your grade. You could help your brother or sister clean up their room, even though you didn't make the mess. If a friend is involved in a sport that you don't play, you can help make signs or posters to cheer them on. Jesus once said, in everything, do to others what you would want them to do to you. In other words, you should treat others the way you want to be treated. Here's one way you can do that today. Work together to help someone succeed. Working together for unselfish reasons is a great way to show someone you love them. What are you waiting for? Go get the band together and hop on the cooperation bandwagon. <laughs> and I don't miss a, a beat. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Time to face the music. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. See if you can drum up some support. No, no, drum up, drum up some, some support. No, okay, no support for that one. Thanks, Warren. I'll see you next time.
two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. Let's pray. God, thank you for the example of Aaron and her who helped Moses succeed. Because of their cooperation, the Israelites were able to win the battle. God, we know there are people around us in need. It could be that they feel lonely or sad. Maybe they don't have what they need and we can share with them what we have. Or maybe they have a job to do that they can't do on their own. Please give us the courage to step in and do something to help them succeed. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Nice singing. Oh, thanks, bud. Have you ever considered the meaning of the lyric, life is but a dream? Oh, yeah, but I don't think it means an actual dream. Ah, oh, I guess I take things too literally. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Hey, you want to sing around? Oh, yeah, yeah, I love a good sing around. All right, here we go. Two, three, four. Row, 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 row your boat. I'm sorry, do you want to start? You want to start? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Okay, sure. No, 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 no. You can start, you can start. You can start. I, me start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm starting. Okay, yeah. Two, three, four. Row, 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 row your what, boat. What are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm letting you start. But do you know how to sing around? Yeah, a sing around. We're just singing together. It's a sing around. Uh, no, no, a round is where someone starts singing and then someone else comes in later. So I'll sing row, row, row your boat. And then you start singing. When I get to gently down the stream. Oh! You get it? Okay. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Two, three, four. Row, row, row your boat. Gently, gently down, down the stream. stream. No, you, you start singing row, row, row your boat. You know what? You start, uh -huh. and then I'll come in. Okay, sure, sure, sure. sure. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay. Two, three, four. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. Pinch me. That didn't hurt at all. <sighs> it's just a dream. Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I am John, last one. Welcome to the So and So Show. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. What you welcome doing indeed. What, what you doing there, buddy? Oh, I've just some quick repairs on my six-string ukulele for my one-man band poetry slam jam later today. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing a little or a lot of uh, super glue won't fix. <laughs> <laughs> my muffins. <laughs> oh, hey! Don't mind if I do. Uh, hey! No! 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 These are for the band. I thought you said it was a one-man band. It is. You can't eat all those muffins. Okay. You you probably shouldn't eat all those muffins. Okay, that's fair. W would you like one? Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the um. Uh, wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> what is wrong? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! The oven mitts won't come off! Did you have super glue on your hands? <laughs> ah! Ah, get him off! Ah! <laughs> I got claws. It's okay, bud. We'll figure something out. But it's time for my one-man band poetry slam jam, and I can't play the six-string ukulele. Yeah. Well, maybe we can work together. But how? It's a one-man band, Brandon. Yeah, I know. It'll still be a one-man band, but with someone else's arms. Okay. Come on. Sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm excited to be here. 
Welcome to my one-man band, Poetry Slam Jam. Boom! Yeah. For my first movement, I will perform an original poem on the keyboard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I should, uh, yes, I should reach more to the right, because that's where the keyboard is. To the right, to the right. Yes! Right, okay. Yes, yes, that's it. Ah, yes, I'm tuning it. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's perfect. I call this poem, One Ostrich Tears. Does an ostrich cry? And if it does, does it cry with its friends? Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> I will now pick up the violin. Mm -hmm, the violin, the violin, not this. This is a six string ukulele. We can put that back down. <laughs> oh, yes, that would be great. Now, uh, a violin, as you can see, looks like a guitar. It does, but you don't play it like the guitar. No, no, I didn't mean to say that out loud. You put it under your chin, under your chin, like so, like so, not that way, not that way. You put it the other way, the, the large end with the, yeah, right there. That goes underneath your chin. And you, you, nope, you play it with a bow, which is to the left, which is also to the left, to the left, to the left. I yep. can't find the bow. Shh, shh, Where, oh, it's further left. Yes. All right, there we go. Now you pick up the bow, hold the neck of the violin with your left hand, like so, and then we play. This piece is known as peanut butter and jellyfish. What is a jellyfish? It is not a fish. Do you see a fin? Of the tuna, it is no kin. And what is this jelly, you say? Am I supposed to spread you on a PB&J? Maybe yay, maybe nay. Ah! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll put that down right on top of the six string ukulele. And for, right. And for my final piece, I will play a poem without words. I call it The Weight of the Fruit Fly. Honk, uh, honk. I cannot breathe. There's nothing less oxygen right there. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Kellen! Hey everyone! Are those oven mitts? Yeah, and they're stuck with super glue and I can't get them off. Nail polish remover. No, it's super glue. They won't come off. No, you can use nail polish remover to unstick the glue. I'll be right back. Uh, should we? I'll catch him up. Do you have a Bible story for us today? I sure do. And here to help me tell it are the so-and-so show players. <laughs> Our story today comes from the book of Exodus in the Old Testament, and it's about a guy named Moses. Moses was the leader of the Israelites that helped lead them out of Egypt towards the land God promised them. Let my people go! That's the one. While they were traveling through the desert, the Israelites were attacked by one of their enemies, the Amalekites. The Amalekites just attacked us. They did. Find some soldiers and go fight them. I'm going to go stand on top of that hill. Yeah. I don't know how much help that's going to be. I'm going to be holding the walking stick that God gave me. Ooh. That is fancy. Thank you. So Joshua found some soldiers and went to fight the Amalekites. And Moses... He went to the top of the hill with his brother, Aaron, and a guy named Hur. Moses. Hur. Ah, uh, Moses. Let's see how they're doing. Oh, Wait! Oh, Wait, they're winning oh, again! Oh, no. Oh, no. Now they're Come losing. On, Wait. Come on. No. You can do it. Ah, Harder. Come on. Fight. Oh, Moses 
Moses realized that as long as he held his hands in the air, the Israelites were winning the battle. But every time he lowered his hands, the Amalekites began to win. God is giving us the victory. If I can hold my hands in the air, but my arms are just too tired. Moses, uh, here, uh, sit down. Uh, 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 what? Uh, Why? Yeah, we'll hold your arms up for you. Uh, you do that uh, for me? Uh, we can uh, do more together. Uh, 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 we can do this! Yeah! 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 the victory you helped me hold my arms up in the air and we were victorious yeah, yeah! Oh. i'm fine hooray the end give it up for the so and so show players yeah great story kellen yeah it was cool that moses had friends to help him like that mm -hmm. yes Lots of cooperation in that story. Aaron and her, they helped Moses hold his arms up. The three of them helped Joshua and the Israelites. And God, well, he helped all of them win the battle. Awesome. I, I think it's important to find people you work well together with like they did. Absolutely. Sounds like you guys have it from here. I'll see you later. Bye, Kellen. Yeah. You know, I think we work well together. Totally. Yeah. You know, we made some beautiful music earlier. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did you find some nail polish remover? No, I did not, but I did find some scissors. Huh? <sighs> yeah. Reveal the question. Oh. oh, who do you work well with? Yeah, maybe it's a friend at school. Or a teammate on your soccer team. Or maybe it's your hosting buddy at the so-and-so show. Ah, stop. Ha, can't stop, won't stop. Ah, all right then. <laughs> We'll see you next time on the so-and-so show. See ya. See up ya. here. No, 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 no. Oh, that's yeah, still right. sore. Here we go. Are you ready? We have a minute of footage. We have a minute and a half of footage left. We gotta get this recorded. Or if we don't get recorded, nobody will see it. We'll instantly cut to black by accident right after the credits roll. Oh! Oh, no! Thank <laughs> you.